CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchase your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. This is a second video in the series of troubleshooting videos for the two-way audio Wi-Fi cameras. Usually these cameras work flawlessly. Sometimes customers might delete a camera or they may change a setting that causes the camera to drop. So that's why we made these videos to help our customers be able to reconnect their cameras. So here's what's going on. When you have a wireless camera, specifically this two-way audio Avalonis Premium Series, it's the WC4 MPSA. You can tell it's a two-way audio because it has a speaker in the bottom. There's a microphone in the front and it has two antennas on the sides. Now, one thing to note, if you put this camera down this way, you're gonna press on its reset button. So make sure you have it placed on a tabletop like so, so you're not pressing on the reset button and lose their configuration. The lights in the front, there are status lights. A solid green means that it's connected to a Wi-Fi radio. So these cameras are both connected to the Wi-Fi coming out of this Wi-Fi NVR. And for some reason, I'm simulating this, you may have an issue where you only have one camera being able to be seen and the other one just doesn't work. You can't figure it out. In one of the first videos we made, we show how you could do a device search and if the camera is showing that solid green light in the front and you do device search, you can click and add it. And life is happy and easy and all you do is you get video from the camera after this red dot turns green for that camera and you got video from it. Now let's say that's not working for you and it's getting more complicated where whatever you do for some reason, the camera is not showing up here when you do device search like it, it is for me here or what have you. So what you do is the first thing, bring the camera indoors near the NVR. Make sure the NVR is not near a Wi-Fi router. It has to be at least five feet away and so the camera as well. The camera has to be near the NVR to be able to pair. Now what I'm gonna show you is how to reset this two-way audio Avalonis Premium Series wireless security camera, the model WC4MPSA. This process applies to only this camera because it has a reset button in the front and it has audio prompts that tells you it's being reset. So let me show you how to reset it. Hold the camera, there's a reset button on top, watch the green light, hold this for at least 10 to 15 seconds. device is undergoing hard reset. So it will give you this prompt when it's going under a hard reset. And these audio prompts really are helpful in that regard. So right now it's booting up. That's what the red light is doing. Now, while it's doing that, what you need to do is go over to your NVR, use your mouse connected to it, right click somewhere. Don't click on this plus sign, right click, go to wireless pairing. And let this run for about two minutes where the NVR is actively seeking out trying to connect new cameras. And listen for audio prompts from that camera you defaulted. Wi-Fi hotspot is enabled. And it, the first prompt it'll say is Wi-Fi hotspot is enabled and it'll flash fast green. That's telling you that it has this option where you can- Successfully connected. So th that has an option for you to connect your cell phone to it. But here, what happened is while I had the wireless pairing on, this thing then turned into a solid light and gave me that audio prompt that successfully connected. So while it's successfully connected to the Wi-Fi radio on the NVR, what we're looking for is that wireless pairing countdown that's running. The NVR will try to recognize the camera on its Wi-Fi network and then add it automatically as a camera device like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Sometimes that automatic addition happens and sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I'll show you how to add it. So let's wait for this countdown. I'll fast forward to the point where we see a change in here or this countdown stops. So now the countdown is about to be completed. I don't see that camera as a second camera automatically added. So what I need to do now is right click using the mouse, go to main menu, go to camera and hit device search. And then if it appears there, I can just double click on the entry and it will get added below. I have to wait for this hourglass figure to go away. Now, if I add it, it gets added. 
If I double clicked on it, it gets added automatically. It turns status from red to green, and I've got my camera here. Now, this is pretty easy thanks to the audio prompts. The process is very similar on the other series Wi-Fi cameras that we have. We have another bullet that only has a mic and a dome. So they do not have a speaker, so it doesn't give you those nice audio prompts. This makes it more friendly for home users to be able to understand what they're doing. So this video shows you how to default just the camera and reconnect it to the Wi-Fi and VR, and then add it as a camera entry. And that's pretty much it. Be sure to check out other videos we make as we go along to help customers out. And uh, feel free to contact us by continuing the support email chain you have with us or use the contact form on cctvcameraworld.com to ask any additional questions you may have. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.